I'm Lee Hawes. You're watching Classic Hunts. Hunt. To pursue with the intent to capture. Classic. Traditional. Enduring. It is with these words that we venture into the past. Today, Buffalo Arms and Turnbull Restoration present Classic Hunts with Lee Hawes. Come join the Buffalo Hunter on an historical hunting journey from the Americas to Africa and Asia. Experience all the world of hunting has to offer with the men, machines, and methods that tamed the wild more than a century ago. Classic Hunts with Lee Hawes is brought to you by Buffalo Arms, Outfitters to the Old West. Turnbull Restoration, preserving history, one gun at a time. Shoots in black powder, only the best in world-class black powder. Lone Star Rifle Company, doing one thing and doing it best. Wool power, when going indoors is not an option. And Hawes Ranch Outfitters, adventure is our business. I'm here on my home ranch in western Kansas. It's the first day of deer season, rifle deer season actually, in uh, western Kansas. I got uh, my pumpkin suit on here. I don't like it, but it's legal, it's safe and all that stuff, but uh, it sure does kind of glare at you, especially when I'm trying to kind of slide and sneak around. I feel like I'm wearing a blinking neon sign, you know, but uh, that's the way it goes. We've been hunting whitetail. Uh, my plan is today, it's cold, it's windy. Uh, the one thing I wanted to do was what we used to do, but nobody here does anymore at all. I'm the only guy crazy enough that I know that, they, that ever does this. And that's just strap a backpack on and hike this whole ranch hunting all the little hidey holes, all the little places that's got cover to where a deer can get out of the wind and that kind of stuff. Uh, there's, there's always fringe and hidey holes, even around big, big parcels of land. So I'll, you know, I planned on about a 10 mile hike today. Uh, we, we didn't have to hike quite that far, but the whole thing, we get to experience, we get to see more, we get to have more stock, more everything than just driving out in a pickup and walking a few places. Uh, that, that, to me, that's just not what I want to do. It's awful windy out here. I'm looking forward to getting down over there a little bit maybe. Or maybe a little bit more out of the wind, perhaps. Maybe I get a little place over there found, I'll make me a little spot of tea or something. Hey. Have a chance at him. That's what I get for daydreaming along here. I was daydreaming about all the improvements I could make here on this place for better deer habitat. This place is good, but any place can be improved. There's a trail right here. Yeah. Look at this. This is a key thing. A lot of times if there's a fence that somebody's put a wire down, or this actually just looks like it accidentally broke. It actually funnels deer into a place, you know. Check out this trail right here. Check out why the trail's here. Top wire right there is broke. This looks like a coyote den. Tracks. I don't think they've, they've used it in the last couple days. Most coyotes will have a couple, couple den holes like this. And uh, just like that guy, uh, he took out of those weeds over there. But this looks like a coyote den right here. You're watching Classic Hunts with Lee Hawes. Stay with us for more of these messages. Live the experience with North America's premier authentic outfitter to the Old West, Buffalo Arms. Whether you're 
you're suiting up to reenact an historical battle or challenging yourself with a hunt reminiscent of our forefathers. Buffalo Arms has the clothing, the gear, the firearms and shooting supplies to make it real. Shop online today at www.buffaloarms.com. Buffalo Arms, outfitters to the old west. When you're hunting or competing, make every shot count with Schutzen. Schutzen Black Powder, our top-of-the-line muzzle-loading cowboy action black powder, unmatched in today's market. Our Swiss Black Powder is produced in small batch sizes, ensuring consistency with every load, every time. Preferred by national and international competitors around the world. The powder of choice at the world's muzzle-loading competition. If you demand consistency in your black powder, demand Schutzen. Only the best in world-class black powder. Over 20 years of honoring gun makers' traditions. Over 15,000 firearms accurately restored. Doug Turnbull Restoration has the knowledge, skill, and keen eye for detail that can restore your vintage firearm to its original condition and preserve the history it represents. Our bluing, case color hardening, and restoration methods and techniques are all derived from manufacturer specifications that have been in place for over 100 years. Doug Turnbull Restoration, where firearms history comes to life. This green behind me, this is the end of November in western Kansas. That's uh, that's coming from what we call cheat grass. It's actually, I think it's called Japanese brome. But it's a real cool season grass. And uh, you know, the deer have been in here. There's been dark fall in there, some dropping. Places where they nipped it off. This, uh, this is what they're feeding on right here. Right now. Places like this. We had, if we wanted to, we could set up, you know, somewhere probably over here where the wind would be right. If we were on this tomorrow morning, we'd probably be able to get us a deer, but I'd rather walk up on them and still hunt, that kind of thing. Uh, this is the way we hunt a lot of the big guys. The big, the big bucks, a lot of them are shot just this kind of deal, except for stand, these kind of things. Tall as grass is, this is CRP grass, Conservation Reserve Program. Indian grass, switch grass, it's tall. Heck, a lot of deer probably get on that side of that hill when the sun's shining on them. They can sense the wind, they can hunker down, we won't ever see them. But see the problem now, I'm starting to be motivated by comfort. I'm thinking over there in them trees in the bottom, that creek's gonna be a good place where I can kind of hold up for a little bit and make me a nice cup of hot tea. Should be thinking, boy, I maybe I'll surprise the deer, but instead I'm thinking, hot tea. There's a nice ring to it, hot tea. Well, uh, this looks like about as good a place as any. We're down out of the, out of the wind, we're in the bottom of the creek here, and uh, I'm ready to Make me a pot of tea. Regroup. I've been a couple miles today. Probably more than just a couple miles. And uh, I got some, one of the reasons I carry this pack is I got some stuff in there so I can pick me something to eat, pick me a cup of tea, that kind of stuff. It's always a smart thing to be out a long ways away from the house or vehicle to pack some stuff with you. I got a, some, I got a billy can here, some water, some tea, and I got a little cute little Grand Force Brooks axe. That's a handy little burger. Uh, check it out. I got that. Uh, 
Ah, good old, good old trail mix. Yeah, if you take a, a belly can, which is just, I don't even know what was in this thing. I think coffee was, but uh, there's the bale. Here's a tea bags. Here's a can of canned meat. And here we've got a, a fire starter. And here we've got another fire starter. So I'll blow the dust out of that thing. Put the bale in there. Now yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move some of this stuff so we don't want to set the place on fire. We'll make this short so I can dig with it a little bit. One thing you don't do is use your knife to dig with. Not a good plan. Alright, remember that little red fire starter thing I was talking about? What's well, uh it's actually made out of a drinking straw with the ends smashed and over and it's it's cotton balls worked in Vaseline and stuffed in here. So what's cool about it, it's a uh, knife out of here. It's self-contained and the whole thing burns. And it burns hot. Little sticks. This little axe is just slicker than a whistle. This is a Grand Force Brooks. They're hand forged just by one particular guy in Sweden. There's his initials, LP. And uh, I've been testing this little sucker bill and it works great. It works great. It's not, it doesn't weigh much. Uh, the steel is such I can hone it. It, it. You can save with that sucker right now. And that is a handy little booger. And we get a deer, uh, it'll be real handy for splitting that breastbone and stuff like that. And the way I do this is figure I want about a half of this cup. So that's how much water I put in here and then put in there. See? That way you're not heating up a whole bunch of water that you don't need. Takes longer, more wood that way. Alright. One of the things I learned the hard way, sometimes that butane doesn't work at high altitude. Something about a nice cup of hot tea after you've been trekking all day long is just a good thing. Kind of got things moved away here so I won't get the country set on fire. trail mix here and my cup. I've got some canned meat here, but I don't really feel inclined for that today at the moment. It's a good thing to keep in your pack, you know. She's about hot. She's starting to steam. It's not like I've got to worry about the water any quality. I mean, this is water I brought from home, so it's fine. I just need to get it hot enough to make good tea. I think we're about there. It's starting to make swirly noises there. Trick poured is getting it to pour without burning yourself, without spilling it. You went to all this trouble to make a fire. For hot tea in there. I got it all in there for spill. It's pretty hot yet. When we get done, we'll bury, you know, we'll make sure this is all out and everything. So it won't be a, a problem. But see it didn't it didn't take much of a much of a fire to get to get her tea water hot. Yeah, look at it. 
steaming good. Yeah, that's hot. Now we've got some homemade trail mix. We put some M&M &M chocolate kind of things in there and peanuts and smoked almonds. Smoked almonds, I think, really give it a, a good taste. But all this stuff, you know, most of it fit right inside that one little can. And, uh, you know, just not that hard to pack that stuff along. Make a good hunt out of it. Stay with us for more after these messages. I'm Lee Hawes, professional hunter, outfitter, and the host of the television show Classic Hunts. I was recently in Russia hunting brown bear near Siberia. The temperatures were 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. The only thing that kept me warm, comfortable, and dry was my wool power garments. Wool power, when going indoors, is not an option. Live the experience with North America's premier authentic outfitter to the Old West, Buffalo Arms. Whether you're suiting up to reenact an historical battle, or challenging yourself with a hunt reminiscent of our forefathers. Buffalo Arms has the clothing, the gear, the firearms and shooting supplies to make it real. Shop online today at www.buffalowarms.com. Buffalo Arms, outfitters to the old west. It's cold and windy here in western Kansas. It's perfect for these deer to be sitting tight, tight cover. Over the top of this hill, there's a little draw with some trees, some weeds. I think it'll be real good. So even though the wind's right, we don't want to go right over the top of this hill and skylight ourselves. So what we're going to do, we're going to work down this draw and then come back up at them. The wind will be perfect, and then we won't be skylighting ourselves. And if there is a deer there, then we've got a chance of getting a shot at one. Come on. I don't know if I'm going to shoot. It's a, uh, ain't much target there, but. All right, that's a perfect example of hunting on foot versus a vehicle. Because I guarantee you, and I used to do it myself, this little patch of trees on the back side of the ranch here, the only way you can approach this thing and be within rifle shot of a deer is walk it just like I did. If you try and drive in part way and then walk over with all that stuff, they hear you. And then they do they, all she had to do, she could either duck out that way or this way, either way, and we would have never seen her at all out of a pickup. And uh, this is a big, big old barren doe, and uh, she'll be darn good eating. All I had was a head shot at, uh, at about 70, 75 yards, and uh, Sure, that's a kind of a low percentage shot, but uh, I'm very comfortable with this rifle. And I also knew that most of the time on that kind of a deal, I either got them, I either got all or nothing. So if I'd have missed her, uh, she'd just been gone, I wouldn't have wounded her bad or anything. Uh, a deer, a white-tailed deer, you hit them anywhere in the head, the 4570, and that, that pretty much settles their, that settles their hash. But let's go check her out. I think uh, maybe we'll find she's an awful big doe. She's down. She's not quite done. We'll give her just a couple seconds. 
That's a great big burn, doe. That's exactly the, the one I was after. You know, in this kind of situation where I'm managing a ranch, I want to either take out bucks that are never going to be anybody or unproductive does, you know. Besides that, that doe will eat good. All right, now one of the things we talked about, how to go in places and hunt on foot. That's something we just, we, we've gotten clear away from. And, you know, the stock we had up through here uh, wasn't on the Brooks Range in Alaska. It wasn't on the cliffs of Mongolia. It was in western Kansas in a pasture uh, with, with mixed grass and, and, and some woodland a little bit around. And it was just as exciting as, as, as doing a stock in some of those places. But you gotta get out of the pickup. You gotta leave the ATVs, the UTVs, all that stuff. Uh, you gotta leave that stuff behind and get out there on your legs and do a little stalking, a little moving, that kind of thing. Uh, we got a great big burn doe here and uh, she's gonna eat real good, real good. You're watching Classic Hunts. Join us for more after these messages. Lone Star Rifle Company, manufacturer of fine rolling block rifles. From authentically patterned American Western firearms to custom designed rifles, Lone Star Sporting and Target Rifles gives you the benefit of over 25 years of award winning shooting and manufacturing excellence. Lone Star Rifle Company also offers customized gunsmithing to improve the performance and beauty of your existing rolling block rifle. Lone Star Rifle Company, doing one thing and doing it best. Over 20 years of honoring gun makers traditions. Over 15,000 firearms accurately restored. Doug Turnbull Restoration has the knowledge, skill, and keen eye for detail that can restore your vintage firearm to its original condition and preserve the history it represents. Our bluing, case color hardening, and restoration methods and techniques are all derived from manufacturer specifications that have been in place for over 100 years. Doug Turnbull Restoration, where firearms history comes to life. The rifle I'm using on this hunt is an 86 Winchester and it comes out of Turnbull Restoration. Those guys take those 86s and do some fabulous things with them. This one is a takedown model. You unscrew this, the, the magazine, that flips up, you unscrew the magazine and then the, the whole forearm and the barrel unscrews. And then I've also got a 50 Express barrel for it. So I've got a rifle that just, just about for any any big game situation that I do, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fixed up either way. Now the 4570 cartridge is a is an old workhorse. I mean, this is the military round of the day. Uh, we're talking back in the you know, 1870s, around in there. Uh, it just won't go away. The reason being, it's so versatile. This one, this particular cartridge that I've loaded for, the, for hunting whitetail is a 300 grain jacket hollow point loaded down to only about 1,500 feet per second. Uh, you know, you can, you can put a different bullet, different powder, and really load this 4570 up. I mean, the modern steel will take it, and you can really load it up. You can hunt grizz, you can hunt anything you want to hunt with this rifle. You've been watching Classic Hunts. We've been hunting whitetail deer on my ranch in western Kansas. Uh, we didn't harvest uh, any big bucks like these on my hunt. Uh, we took a, a great big old barren dry doe, and that was what we wanted to do for our management. Part of our management is what produces these kind of deer. We've shut down our whitetail operation for basically two years uh, to get the trophy quality up, to make some changes, management, uh, environment, all the kind of things that we needed to change. These deer are all, you know, these are the type of deer that we expect to harvest. These deer, all of these deer came off the ranch. Uh, this, these guys are in the 170s. Uh, this guy above my head is a 190 some deer. These, uh, as you can see how wide and how tall this guy is. I mean, you know, we've got the right kind of genetics on the ranch. These are native Kansas whitetail deer. This is not uh, the, the whitetail deer there is not a high fenced operation. We're hunting native deer. Uh, you have to draw for the permits. We will assist you in the, with the paperwork and drawing for the permits. But we've got the right kind of genetics. Uh, we're managing the ranch for these kind of deer with water points, mineral, uh, feeders, food plots, 
uh, all the other kind of things that you would expect in a first class operation. If you want to shoot a lot of deer and see a lots and lots of deer, then I suggest you go somewhere else. If you want to harvest uh, a world class whitetail like these guys, then you need to call me. The information is on your screen. You can get with me, and we can kind of get the get the get the ball game rolling. Get you get you in there to apply, you know, that kind of a thing, and get you on the schedule. Tammy, put supper on. I'm headed home. The rest of you, I'll see you back here next week for another classic hunt. Classic hunts with Lee Hawes is brought to you by Buffalo Arms. Outfitters to the Old West. Turnbull Restoration, preserving history one gun at a time. Shoots in black powder, only the best in world class black powder. Lone Star Rifle Company, doing one thing and doing it best. Wool Power, when going indoors is not an option. And Hawes Ranch Outfitters, adventure is our business.